time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. You can't miss it. Go and hit it right now. I'll give you time. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G E E K L Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. After this, go go uh, follow over there too. And I'm on TikTok, Crazy Amanda Reacts. So follow me everywhere. And it's time to get this little review started. Let's go. Y'all, 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 y'all. So the Miss Americana is on Netflix. I did the trailer reaction to it with the Taylor Swift documentary. And let me tell you, I, from that trailer, I was like, I gotta watch this. It, it drew me in. So it came out today on Netflix. First of all, the quotes coming out of this. Right down below, I got it linked, pin comment, all the great quotes from the Taylor Swift documentary, Miss Americana. You go and read them after this because some of this hit you. I became the person everyone wanted me to be. Those pats on the head were all I lived for. So, I mean, she even talks about when she first started, just all she wanted was the appraisal, uh, the appraisal of people. The, you know, the, when they were screaming and cheering, that's, that's what she lived for. That she just wanted people to love her. That's all. She takes you on the journey. You, you are reminded of things that happened to Taylor throughout history that you had done forgot about. Well, remember she won that VMA at the Music Awards when Kanye West jumped on stage talking about Beyonce should have had that? I mean, I was like, yeah, I remember that when that happened. And everybody was like, why can't I be being crazy, jumping on stage, doing his little Keanu crazy stuff? But then you didn't think about how that affected Taylor until I watched this documentary. She's just a little teenager at this time. This is one of her first things. She just up there so happy she won the VMAs. And in her mind, like him jumping on stage just made her feel worse. She even made the comment that at the time, because when Keanu jumped on stage, you know, people was all starting to boo him. Because, I mean, that, that was just ridiculous that he done that. Like, all right, even if he had that thoughts, he didn't have to, to ruin Taylor's moment, right? So he, you even, they showed the little clip that people started booing him. But this is how it hit Taylor. She even said in my clothes below at the time, I didn't think they were booing him doing that. I thought they were booing me. I always loved Taylor Swift's music. But as I was watching this, I started crying, just feeling for her. Now I know, you know, you think she got it all. She's beautiful, talented, rich. You think she got it all. But one thing she said, what she didn't have it that was like the self-confidence, you know? Like she lived for just the approval of other people. And and you watch this evolution that she went through her life and it just hit you. It just hit you right here and you feel for it. And I did, I started crying, y'all. Right, Keanu like put her up in the song. Remember this? I didn't even, I didn't even fully remember this. And I kind of remember a little stuff about the, 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 that's what happened afterwards. Cause he put a little song and everybody was hating on her all. F Taylor this. And F Taylor that, blah, 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 blah. She released her little phone conversation with him where he was apologizing for it and all this kind of stuff. And he wanted to front up in the public. And she was like, oh no. And she released that little phone conversation, but then it backlashed and everybody came after her. And she went silent, right? Like she said, she took a year off, kind of fat. That, that was the best thing for her to do. Take that year off, kind of just find herself and all that. Because when she came back, it felt like her mind was clear. She was ready to do her One of the big things at the end, and I remember this happened, was when, you know, she took that political stance. And and just the evolution of that. And that happened and people trying to talk her out of it. And she's like, no, I got to do what's right. And and all this. And I started crying then too. Everybody thought since she was like a country singer that she's going to be this like conservative Republican. She's like, no, I got to stand up for his right. I got to make sure like, you know, she had that sexual assault case with that guy that went up her skirt. And I think that really hit her because, you know, they having these people going office protecting kind of criminals and rapists and, and homophobic people and all this. And that happened to her. And she knew what she went through with that, that she's like, I got to stand up for these people that don't have a voice like I got a voice. Y'all, I loved this so much. I'm going to go watch it again. It just, I thought it was just inspirational. I told you I loved Taylor Swift before. Um, I thought her music was wonderful. I thought she was, I mean, talented girl. She writes her own music, you know. 
talent beyond belief, but someone with a voice that stands up for the, the, the injustice in the world. And that's when I like started connecting with her on that kind of level. But after this, seeing this, I'm a Swifty. <laughs> I am. They done. She done. To rope me. Like I am sucked into the Taylor world. You know, I think this is one little girls should watch. Because, I mean, it talks about, you know, it really brings out self-esteem. I think it's one you have to watch. Miss Americana up on the Netflix drop today. I give this, I want to get, like, I don't give tens out of tens out of that much. But I can't even think of anything bad about this. I can't. Maybe this. Maybe I get a 9 out of 10 because I just want more. That's how when I'm watching it, I'm like, it's about hour and 30 minutes. And I'm like, I need to see more. I want to know more. That's the only thing a negative I can say about this. So if you've seen it already, comments, thumbs, let me know what you think. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Go watch it now. <laughs> let me know what you think, y'all. And until next time, 